Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and welcome to a new Titanosaur build. Uh, first off, I didn't make this one into a tutorial, simply because placing structures on the platforms is just frustrating as hell. They flicker between all the snap points and I spent half the time picking things back up and replacing them. I also built this thing sort of on the fly. Uh, I can make a much better how to build video if I do it on the ground and just sort of take my time with it. I didn't use any mods for this build. Uh, I just upped the platform structure limit to about 18 so it is buildable on unofficial servers on PC and console. Uh, I know there's a few servers that are playing around with having nomadic tribe ideas. I've actually been looking at what I think they're called Fujian, earthen buildings, uh, walled villages and some other like ancient Chinese architecture lately and it's just loads of amazing builds you can sort of take you know, inspiration from. Mainly I like the layout, it's like houses and workshops. Um, built into like a defensive wall and surrounding a central courtyard and it's just like the perfect setup for a base. I also like the fact that they use like stone and like the earth um, they sort of use pounded earth and some of the walls in their buildings were like five meters thick or something like that you know to hold the whole structure up but we can use like the adobe and everything to sort of simulate that look and tons and tons of wood everywhere so it's just perfect really for all the, the bits and pieces we've got to play with. Yeah, so we should be able to get some bases built that uh, look really authentic and serve a purpose as well. Now we've got Homestead as well, building you know these sort of tower sections and things like that is a lot easier. And we should be able to get some pretty interesting designs done on the, on the roofs. I've not got a lot done with the interiors, they're all a little bleak to be honest. They look good though, um, but I'm not great with sort of the interior design stuff, just with the vanilla structures. Um, but if you want, check out uh, Queen Goddess Gaming. She's got some awesome designs just using like vanilla structures. Um, her interiors are really, really cool. You know, if you want any more tips on that sort of side, I'm used to using mods when I come to build these big titanosaurs, like eco mods. So I've got like everything to play with, really. I didn't go over the top with the paint for this building because you see a lot of like the smaller rural builds. They're using whatever materials are on hand, so the earth can be a different colour, whether they're using slate or terracotta for the roofs, uh, whatever wood's around, so everything's looking really rustic, so I sort of just kept to that really. This section here is actually built underneath the platform, so I just wanted to use all that space we had. Uh, it's like um, living quarters, storage, stuff like that really. And then all the side of this was just meant to look like little houses and things hang uh, hanging off the side. 
these small hexagonal sections were about as far out as I could build, you know, from the foundations up top. And I did put like a lot of wooden structures and uh, fences into them, but I thought you could leave them empty and just use them as landing pads. You know, if you're like flying out and bringing resources and stuff back. And the spiral staircases work great with this build as well, give you access like to every level. Now we are back in the central courtyard. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Worked out really well. And the black and white colours look, look pretty cool. Now he's stomping about. I said virtually no lag for some reason. I'm on my own server, uh, Nitando server. And it's just running really smooth. Right, onto the speed build. Uh, this first section, I'm just showing how to get the foundations down. It was just like a little way of putting... Um, a fence foundation down just lining it up with this section at the back here and then using pillars and you can sort of lower the stone foundations into the platform but if you do it like this it lines them up so they're perfectly level across the whole platform see I just used two roofs there and then snap that pillar so it's sticking through it and then the two you put down underneath are at a different height but they're perfectly straight so you get that overhang at that side and exactly the same at that side and you sort of cover the whole platform then yeah so if you're interested in this build and you're going to give it a shot uh you got any questions just ask in the comments and I'll, I'll get back to you like i said it's not a how to build by any means but you might pick up a few little tricks and tips from it and remember as well on youtube you've got your little um cog on the video and you can go into the settings there and change the speed so if there's anything you really want to watch you just slow the video down a bit i was just going to say that the response to like my last few builds that i've done has been amazing my subs have just gone right up the last month or so and just getting tons of really good comments and everything so yeah thanks a lot for that people and welcome to all the new subs as well um yeah so i'll shut up now and go and get some building done enjoy the video guys catch you later